See if it's puck him. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune, where we deliver the finest art of battle gaming on the board. Well, the title said, did you ever consider to invent a game or whatever? Then maybe this will ignite a spark. Because we had an idea and we just did it. And don't let anyone tell you that it won't work. Because it, there is just no need that it really works out. Just try. Maybe it works. And if not, hey, get back to the next idea. Uh, you do not have to be a billionaire or to become a billionaire. Uh, just follow your dreams. And um, yeah, what we basically did, I would switch to the board view is, I, Max, do you remember when we were watching chess online? Yeah. Yeah, and what? And you had the idea of, well, chess is so... The, the pieces are fixed and yeah. you cannot change them and and a little bit claustrophobic you see this this board is just you know uh 50 percent more or something uh 91 than a chess board but uh it makes a big difference you really feel as though there wasn't really a limit uh, yeah, that's true it's kind of nice in yeah, and, everything is kind of rigid. And in our game, you can change your army. You can say, well, I just want these tiny dudes here marching down and, well, they won't win the war. And you can change and say, well, I am taking a lot of archers or maybe I need some riders here or heavy artillery or whatever. So this is basically it. What you can do, yeah, this is the biggest artillery we have in this game. Very powerful, but just a short range weapon. And now you threw it over the board. Well, congrats. Um, yeah. And now but, I guess. Yeah. Now we're in the game. The game of today is uh, No Remorse. And one of us did not show any sign of remorse at all. And the other one lost. And that's it. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, uh, if uh, we don't say th something, I will either mark uh, a threat or a, a protection of some sort. And sometimes uh, I will uh, show ideas uh, as like, like this, when walking here would be like an idea. You know. yeah, by, by, by the way, if you like to explore this game, well, it really exists in the real world. This is just the bits and bytes version on the Tabletop Simulator. Check it out in the description below. Go to our homepage. You can download everything you need. Uh, even the manuals are for free online. Play Tribune if you like to. So, uh, you went for this quite normal approach. Uh, the Equus still in the garage but can you interpose my already threat? glimpsing at the battlefield yeah and i'm pulling no pushing the plug i'm just won't let you you can open the garage but there is no, just no coming through yeah so i'm just basically going to end my journey at this unit and it's protected um, and so you kind of defend both of them from any sort of threats like this. And so I uh, I, I bu uh, built another one. Uh, the idea would be to combine out of the way, like, whoops, like this, for example. Then I have open vision and uh, it's just annoying for the enemy. You kind of have to watch your back and, and you know, that's always good, right? Yeah, that's what you usually do. You use the long-range weapons. Everyone used to the channel knows it already. I'm used to it because I know what it feels like on the board when you have this pressure really crawling up your neck. 
So, I'm trying to, well, interfere in, 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 in some way. This is a normal jump from here, coming with this Sagittarius in the next move near and then it's attacking range. I could maybe shoot you off your horse. And I'm essentially uh, looking down the board on both sides. And I like this asymmetric uh, idea. You usually, these white equity are usually good uh, as your tribune is on the white hexagons. And then I like to have both, uh, one of, on the gray and one on the uh, black or dark hexagons. Mm. Yeah, this is oh. something I do not really like. I just was interposed again, yeah. and I, I'm just looking at it, not straight up attacking it as it's, well, very much defended. So there's no point in attacking it, but. Yeah, but um, what you usually try to do is get rid of those small dudes here. They are okay in, in the defense, but in the beginning formation they are not that powerful. And so you try to collect them, bring them, yeah, to, to I don't know, to the front line so they can do something. And if you have to split up, it's, it's bad. It is. I just really like the new music. Oh, so. Anyhow, um, I like the soundtrack. Just vibe it, yeah. So you're kind of doing the same thing again, and I'm just uh, opening the last equus. So now my equity all see the uh, full board. Right? Yeah. And I just have four of those. So that's kind of nice. You know? They usually don't do much, as you said, uh, and you have more of them. The exact uh, eight, if I'm not mistaken. So. No. But uh, they're really resilient in defense. Um, mm -hmm. For example, it's kind of pointless to attack this one, as it's defended by. Uh, well, by a ser of ze uh, Zervos. Zervos and two Sagittarii. Uh, same goes for this one. Um, this one I could uh, take, but it's defended. Multiple and times. And again, I, whenever you take mm -hmm. such a piece, uh, you win one piece from the enemy, but you probably lose. Uh, yeah. something else and that just really sucks so, you know so, yeah. it's really annoying to deal with this and now I have to find a way to break free attacking yeah. and still protecting at the same time the first move that came to my mind as I saw the situation was why not going here attacking this Equus maybe releasing some pressure attacking this dude that's not protected at all and still defending this one in the center. Maybe would have been a good approach. I don't know. I brought this as status. Normally, yeah, it's okay. I'm solidifying in a way. But now you increase the pressure. And sooner or later, I will succumb to it. Yeah, this is yeah kind of counterplay. But you can really thwarting it really really easily yeah and, and this is really annoying um, um as, or rather i don't think uh, it's that stupid of a move as i have to do something about it you know um i could jump away my current idea was uh, to create another equus on this hexagon but now i have to do something else this yeah. is just very simple. simple. Yeah. Um, and it also looks forward to uh, take something in the center, maybe. Um, but yeah, I couldn't create my Equus, which, you know, I really like this idea. So. Hmm. Sure. And I am really not sure if this is a good idea, because... 
Two or three moves ago, I had Sagittari here. You know, those archers. And they had an eye on him. Now both of them are, are gone. And you have these very hostile units staring at one point and you can get into a huge melee fight and you will probably win. Hmm. Now this yeah, does not really much, it attacks him, but he's protected. And so I went out of the way. You can now see this, but uh, I'm protecting it like that. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you... Oh no, you didn't. Yeah, have I don't know why the next good move may have been this. It's at least interesting. Attacking the Centuria and looking maybe for a way in. That doesn't work yet. Yeah, but there is no really way in. Protected, protected. Um, well. Interestingly enough, that would be a difference. Let's say this position were to occur. Then this would be actually very much devastating. Um, the threat being that you want to walk here. And if you take four pieces, three plus what? Excuse me? Uh, I don't know. Um, anyhow, so we have this position. You take three plus one four pieces away. Yeah, because the Tribune and this archer both uh, act together and this, supported by this dude in the background, is Nex. Nex is uh, what you would call mate in chess. And so that would really be annoying. So, but uh, so... in this situation it does not work because this has status saves the day. He can always protect his Tribune properly. And you attacked me, I went back. Simple stuff. And you got a little bit hostile here, so... Yeah... But I'm really not convinced at all. The pressure yeah, on but... this diagonal was good. Yeah, but see, um, if I now were to, I don't know, walk forward, you might take here, like this, yeah. I retake with three, so... Yeah, the, and then I take, and then you if take... If you go down the capture chain, then you will quickly notice that you won one piece. Yeah, that's true, because initially I would have taken a unit of four, and this is the one that I gain in this exchange. I mean, it's not terrible, but, uh, you know, I usually... Aim for bigger targets. <laughs> mm -hmm. I went back. And you aim for sacrifices yourself. Still defending. Well, I don't aim to sacrifice, but I will sacrifice if I think that's the best option. The bad thing is, when you play this game and you have time scramble and then you have this music pumping you up with adrenaline, then you feel really like the leader of this army and you won't fail them. You will lead them to victory. And by the way, that was just a clean blunder of a piece. Which was a hundred percent intentional. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Yeah, I, uh, you remember this Aquis, it died on this hexagon and yeah. I just got two for it, so I lost two in the Altercation, which you can uh, see on these counters. Then I can get whoops, two more. Whoops, I need. And having pressure on these two. Uh, not right away. Yeah, but this is a clutch move that comes in to save the day. Um, and, and I, yeah, you went away. Yeah, forking the Tribune, let me just show, forking the Tribune and the Centuria. Oh, no! Sorry. Just repair. Well, yeah. I went out of the way. 
And at this point I expected you to take here. It does win less, you only get two pieces instead of four, but uh, it will have a major advantage. The major advantage yeah. is that I can't do that. Uh, um, so, this is a uh, very but, 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 major but, but, inconvenience. But, 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 but. Let's hmm? take back, but not just take the two pieces right away. I guess you would have needed another Zwischen move. Zwischen Zug. This one. For what purpose? Oh, so yeah. you lose less? Yeah, because I don't like... Mm, yeah, I, I thought about... Well, I would lose oh. these three pieces, but I, I would know. lose them uh, anyway. If, I, if you take two here, that's defended. Yeah, but it's attacked twice. You have a chain of equities, so you can take. Ah, yes, okay, there's the sound. Oh, goodness gracious. So, yeah, I was really screwed there. It's an incredible uh, game, and it's. You it did really not act on, uh, <laughs> uh, on this opportunity, and yeah, but I got to get in here. Major inconvenience if you take four pieces, then you're screwed, so you have to do something else. But you also can't ignore this uh, threat. So I could do something very simple, like uh, let's say two here, three here, and one there. Go. The escape is blockaded. Uh, these both threaten, and this one is protected by this one. So uh, you have to do something, um, and you probably combined. Yeah, you did. And I took. And the I was I... like... Is there something? The thing is, you could also have taken here and threatened, but this comes with uh, more oomph. Uh, so <laughs> what? You can do this now, and this is like a very nasty idea. Uh as it actually kills you and oh I, I think that happened in the game oh and then sorry for the uh, nice spoil that you spoiled it yep it happened and the reason why I did not take here is I would have uh, I wouldn't have this opportunity to win even though I would threaten you it's better to threaten to win um, using um, Obviously. In one move, than to threaten directly. No? If you threaten directly, you force him out. You force him to run away. If you uh, go to a hexagon where he does not have to run away, but you threaten to cage him in, then that's much better. Um, and so I did that. Yeah, let me just show. These are the fields I can jump to. Here I'm dead because of this has status. Here I'm dead because of this Equus. Here I will die due to the Astatus guarding this Sagittarius. And here I will die to means of the Servus. So what about maybe can I combine? Combining here? No. He also guards this field. And if I combine here. And this dude does a job. So this is Nex. Nex! Just out of nowhere. And I was too bold. I was too convenient and said, well, there is nothing. I can go to work now. I was up material. And due to the blunder some moves earlier, I should have won this game. But I yep. did not. You did not show any sign of remorse, and you well, granted you the victory. In the honey jar. You should have probably went for this guy here. Hands up, my honey jar, had... man. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, let's go to the goodbye screen. Yeah, we are on it. So, um, we hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and. 
we hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, Tribune is, uh, well, at least our favorite game, but I think that goes naturally. We created it to be our favorite game, so that would be <laughs> kind of embarrassing if it wasn't. Um, and, uh, well, we hope we can share this with you. If you like uh, to make this uh, to help us a little bit out, uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing the video to friends would go a long way. Yeah, and and you, you, we can mention uh, that we have been to some, um, how's it, fair trade uh, exhibition. We were in, in, on several exhibitions and will be in Utrecht in November this year, 2024. And we lot a lot of guys uh, or people we met, and they were all astonished by this game. They didn't expect something like that. And as soon as they discovered the possibilities on this board, they were really mind blown. This is, uh, and we had a lot of nice games. Uh, yeah, sorry. And so uh, I think that about concludes the episode. Uh, so we wish you a great day and a wonderful time. And until then, see you soon. On Tribune.